Welcome to another presentation by My Weight World. The topic of this presentation is an overview of childhood obesity. This presentation is designed to give you a brief overview on the topic of childhood obesity. Introduction. The world is getting heavier. Obesity doubled in adults in America in the past 20 years. Worse yet, it has more than tripled in children during the same time period. Diabetes, hypertension, and other obesity-related chronic diseases that are prevalent among adults have now become more common in youngsters. Poor dietary habits and inactivity are reported to contribute to the increase of obesity in youth. Serious Issue Obesity in children and teens is a major problem not just in the United States and Europe, but also through many portions of the world. Unfortunately, many health and social consequences continue into and worsen in adulthood from childhood. Implementing prevention measures for this age group is important to controlling the obesity epidemic worldwide. Definitions. Term childhood obesity or overweight normally will refer to both children and teens in this presentation. In general, the age range of children is ages 6 to 11 years, and adolescents or teens is ages 12 to 17. BMI. Another definition that we will talk about is body mass index, or the BMI. The BMI is a ratio of weight to height. The larger the number, the worse the weight problem. The BMI helps define those who are normal weight, overweight, or obese. Calculating BMI. There are various ways to calculate the BMI. One way is to use the formula on this page. A second and simpler way is by using a table. And the third way is by going to My Weight World's website and using the BMI calculator by plugging in your height, weight, and age. For, for now, let's discuss the calculations on this page. You can calculate your BMI by dividing your weight in pounds by height in inches squared and multiplying by a conversion factor of 703. For example, someone who weighs 150 pounds and is 5 feet 5 inches calculates their BMI by dividing 150 by 65 squared and multiplying by 703. This person's BMI is 24.9. BMI is an effective screening tool. It is not a diagnostic tool. For adults, BMI is age and gender neutral. It doesn't matter how old you are or your sex. For children, BMI is age and gender specific. So, BMI for age is the measure used. In other words, for children, once the BMI is figured out using the formula on the previous slide, you need to then take the BMI, sex, and age of the child or teen and apply it to the tables on the following pages to figure out the age and gender specific number. With the age specific BMI, if it is greater than 85%, it equals overweight. If it is greater than 95%, it equals obese. This will become clear in the next couple of pages. Graphic 1. To figure out a child's age-adjusted BMI, you take the standard BMI using the form on the previous page, and then you adjust for age and sex. Example, an 11-year-old male with a BMI of 25. Find on the left-hand vertical column his 25 BMI. Follow the horizontal red line and follow it to 11 years, vertical line. On the graph, there are blue curvy lines flowing horizontally and upwards. Each curvy line represents a percentage. Now, look at where the two points meet on the table and what curvy line it falls on. Here we see that this boy's percentile is 97%. Again, anything over 95% is obese. Graphic 2. This is the girl's adjusted BMI page. Let's look at an example of a 9-year-old girl 
with a BMI of 15. Find the girl's BMI on the left-hand vertical column and follow it horizontally to her age. The two lines meet on the third curvy line going up, which is 25%. The girl has an adjusted BMI of 25% and is of normal weight. After all that, are you lost or confused? Remember, on MyWeightWorld.com, there is an automatic calculator to figure out your BMI, if you are an adult, or age-adjusted BMI for a child. BMI for Age provides a reference for children and adolescents that was not previously available. Consistent with adult index, so it can be used continuously from two years of age to adulthood. And it tracks childhood overweight into adulthood. Who uses BMI for age? A number of people now use the adjusted BMI for age. It is recommended by multiple expert committees to evaluate overweight and it has been published in the following journals, American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, the Journal for Pediatrics, and again, American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. So overall, we find that the age-adjusted BMI is more accurate for a child than the standard number. Obesity Prevalence Trend. Let's focus on obesity trends in children and teens. You can see from this graph that between the years 1980 and the year 2000, obesity has gone from 4 to 6% in 1980 to nearly 16% in the year 2000. Rate of obesity and overweight in childhood. Let's now look at the rate of obesity and overweight children. 30.3% of children are overweight. 15.3% of children are considered obese. In adolescents, 30.4% are overweight and 15.5% are obese. Overweight children and teens number approximately 18 million people in the U.S. alone, and these numbers are growing. Boys and girls. Weight problems are seen slightly more in male children and teens than girls. Race. Examining childhood obesity and race. This table looks at children and teen percentages concerning obesity and overweight. Across the board, African Americans number the highest percent when dealing with obesity and overweight. Next highest are Mexican Americans, and Caucasians the third highest. These trends are similar in adults. Comorbidities are medical problems related to weight. For example, if someone develops diabetes as a result of their weight, then the diabetes is a comorbidity. Comorbidities in overweight children is on the rise. The next set of slides will outline some of the more common comorbidities. Asthma is a common weight comorbidity and is on the rise with overweight children. In general, overweight children, in general, an overweight child or teen is limited with physical activity, but if they also have asthma, their physical restriction is even worse. Type 2 diabetes is on the rise with obesity in children. Obese children and teens are reported to be more than 12 times more likely to develop signs of diabetes than someone who does not have a weight problem. When it comes to race and obesity, those with Mexican descent have the highest rate of diabetes in children. The chance of high blood pressure is more than nine times more common in obese children than those without a weight problem. Overweight children are even more prone to develop bony problems as their bones are still in development. For example, bowing, overgrowth of leg bones, and joint pain. Sleep apnea is irregular and poor sleep patterns. 7% of obese children have this problem. Poor sleep can lead to extensive lethargy in the day, which leads to poor performance during school, problems operating machines, such as cars. Psychosocial. White girls who develop a negative body image are at a greater risk for the subsequent development of eating disorders. Adolescent females who are overweight have reported experiences with stigmatization such as direct and intentional weight-related teasing, jokes, and derogatory name-calling, as well as less intentional 
potentially hurtful comments by peers, family members, employers, and strangers. Overweight children and adolescents report negative assumptions made about them by others, including being inactive or lazy, being strong and tougher than others, not having feelings, and being unclean. Overweight children are more likely to be shunned by their peers at school, which may lead to poor attendance and reliance on homeschooling. Childhood to Adult Prediction Excess weight in childhood has been found to be associated with continuing to be overweight as an adult. One study found that an overweight child with at least one parent who was overweight had a 79% chance of staying overweight as the child became an adult. Summary. Childhood obesity is increasing in frequency, leading to typical adult medical problems such as diabetes, heavy children can lead to heavy adults, age-specific BMI is more accurate than just the BMI. You can find the calculator for this on MyWeightWorld.com. Look for other childhood-related presentations on MyWeightWorld.com. This has been another presentation by My Weight World. Thank you.